you can't give that boy those years, meaning a seven-year deal with that belly he's walking around with. You just can't do it. I hear C.C. Sabathia is an incredibly nice man. I interviewed him one time when I had, you know, my show, quite frankly, on ESPN2. He's an incredibly nice man. I love him. Him, Curtis Grandison, and all of those guys, I get all of that. But we're not going to we're not gonna dabble around the issues here. I can't invest seven years in a man whose belly flops up and down in a fashion that makes fat bastard from the whole movies, uh, you know, with, 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 uh, with uh, what is it, Austin Powers, that character fat bastard. I cannot give you that money over seven years. I'm sorry. Get in my belly. I, I can't. I can't invest seven years in a dude like that. I can give you the money. I can give you the money with no problem. Because you're worth it. I can't give you the years. Nobody's asking you to get a six-pack here. Nobody's saying that. But I can't look at you, and every time I look at you, I think about that line. Get in my belly. Look, man, I got a size 34 waist. I'm a relatively slim dude, and I think that I could use a little work in the midsection. Could you imagine how I feel about C.C. Sabathia? I I just need you to lose weight. I'm sorry. I I just can't do it. I I can't give you those years. You got four years and 92 million remaining. I agree with my man Michael K. I'll give you five at a hundred million dollars. If you push me too hard, I'll give you six at one twenty five. Okay? That's an extra year or two at an additional thirty three million dollars. Hell, I'll go up to one forty. Or one thirty rather. What I can't do is give you seven years. You have to show me that you're interested in doing a sit-up. You have to show me that you're interested in avoiding Dunkin' Donuts. You have to show me that you know what? You're not eating any more Crunch Berries because that's what he likes. Do y'all have any idea what sugar does to you? I got a dear friend of mine who's writing a nutritional book. You know, she's got out a book, Why I Love Men So Much. Her name is J.J. Smith. She's fine, too. She never wanted me, but she's fine. But she, she's also writing a health book because she's in her 40s and she's fine. And she's just highlighting how, you know, you got your sugar and what it does. Because sugar, like, you know, the livers, the filter in your system and all of that, other, it gets in there and it just stays there. And it turns into fat and fatty tissue. And this man brags about eating crunch berries every morning. Now, that's all right when you me. I'm 185 pounds. He about 330. And you on the pitching mound, you sweating. And you walk to work every day. You get in your car, you drive, and then after that, you walk to the mound. You throw a few pitches, you walk back to the dugout. You come after there, and you walk to the mound. And you pitch, and then you go back to the dugout. And you do that back and forth for seven to eight innings a night. And then after that, You don't pitch for five days. My producer extraordinaire educated me. He's at 290 pounds, not 330. He looks 330. I'm just saying you you, 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 you can't can't walk around that heavy. I need C.C. Sabathia to lose some weight. He can't lose weight. I can't give you those years. And I know, I know it's dicey. He could end up going to Boston. Now that John Lackey's got to have Tommy John surgery on his elbow, I know that's a problem. I just can't take that chance. I just can't do it. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. can't. Not unless you lose some weight. Let's go to Nick in Valley Stream. You're live with Stephen A. Talk to me. What's up? How you doing, Stephen A.? Um, I I, I think we should just get rid of CC. You know, you said keep him or, or, or let him go. I would say let him go. Because this guy does not show up in the postseason, period. Mm. He doesn't. You know, I mean, all of that money, and, and I agree with you 100%, you stop passing the Dunkin' Donuts. And not only him, Cologne as well. 
NFL, both of them going in at the same time. I mean, come on. This is ridiculous. All that money, and you can't get a trainer or something? Yeah, come you on. know what? That, 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 that's, that's a big deal to me. That's yeah. a big deal. Seven and four. What's the ERA for CC Sabathia? Seven and four in the postseason. I'm yep. just a four a four eighty one ERA. That's not good yep. enough. That's not one hundred and sixty one million dollar numbers. Exactly. And I, and not, I gotta not. and I gotta tell you this, Nick. To, to, to get to your point, listen, you gotta show up in the postseason. There's no doubt about that. But exactly. I, I gotta, you should be able to afford a trainer. Well, I mean, we we coming across almost five hundred million, a half a billion dollars between him and A Rod not showing up. That's ridiculous. He is five and one in the Yankees with the postseason, though. He did give up, but he gave up the winning run to the Tigers exactly. in a game clutch. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. And he can't seem to get past two or three innings. Come well, on, well, that well, kind of money. Well, wait a minute. I mean, listen. The, the the flip side to it is that he was going up against Justin Verland, I believe. Not only that, then the last game when he gave up that run, he wasn't even supposed to be in that game. But because Nova got hurt and Girardi had to go through, you know, the whole rotation and and and, and resemble the rooster, so that was an unorthodox uh, kind of situation and a bit of an aberration. I don't know if I want to hold that against him, but I need you to be big time. I need you to be Justin Verlander type. 